Ansa Macal shall be the leading conglomerate in the region, continuously maximizing shareholder value by achieving exceptional performance, fostering long-term confidence and respect while generating sustained growth for all stakeholders. This shall be achieved by always delivering superior customer service that nurtures and grows a loyal customer base, attracting, developing and retaining talented personnel by recognizing and rewarding outstanding performance, creating an environment that encourages innovation and excellence, recognizing regional and national needs and aspirations while protecting our environment for future generations. This is the blueprint for local and regional development of the Ansa Macau Group of Companies. It represents the bold initiatives which we will undertake in each of our member companies as we reach for greater heights of achievement and explore new frontiers in business development. The results will transform the lives of many, our customers, suppliers, shareholders, and of course, ourselves. Welcome aboard. We shall renew, reinvent, and grow our existing business, doubling operating profits within four years. We shall pursue acquisitions that enable the group to obtain footholds in new markets or in current unserved markets that provide the synergies of expansion relating to our current business activities. We shall identify opportunities in the petrochemical and energy sectors and participate by forming strategic alliances and joint ventures. We shall view all customers as partners to our business and establish a customer relationship management process. We shall ensure that our people acquire the necessary future competencies to support the group's competitive capabilities. We shall establish a group information infrastructure that provides an internal communications network. We shall develop an e-business strategy that transforms our relationship with our customers, suppliers, business partners, employees, and shareholders. Ansa Macal, we make the future better. When 88 top executives of the Ansa Macal Group received their invitation, it simply read, the journey begins, welcome aboard. None of the executives who came from around Trinidad and Tobago, the region, and other parts of the world were given much more of an indication about the evening's unusual event. Responding to the chairman's invitation to assemble at the Tattel car park, the executives were divided into four teams and asked to board the awaiting buses. Each executive was then given an envelope in which everyone held a fragment of a map that had to be pieced together for all executives to reach their hidden destination, the National Energy Skill Center in Coover. Once there, the Ansa Macal executives were directed into a room described as moving through a portal of time. Then the following drama unfolded. Good evening, I'm Shelley Das. Welcome to the news for December 31st, 2006. Happy New Year to you all. Using news anchor Shelley Das to present the December 31st, 2006 newscast, Portraying Ansa Macal's success, the directors enjoyed living the future as it happened there and then. Trinidad and Tobago's exports have increased significantly in the last year, with the Ansa Macal group of companies showing the largest improvement, with values in excess of 500 million TT dollars. Meanwhile, Ansa Macal continues to perform well on the stock market, topping the trading with share price of $40. Member companies of the Ansa Macal Group have enjoyed record results with profits doubling between 2002 and 2006. As much as 20% of the Ansa Macal Group's total revenue is now derived from its offshore subsidiaries. Most of the group's brands and businesses have emerged as regional and global franchises. After traveling ahead of time to listen to how the group made the news of 2006, the executives were handed copies of the Trinidad Guardian of December 31st, 2006. Executive Chairman of the Ansa Macal Group, Norman Sabger, then explained to his directors how they would arrive at the results which made the news and the way forward to December 2006. I can see a time when a customer could go online 
with our system and can order merchandise. I can see a time where a code can be given to a customer. We can go online and see what the state of his account is. I can see a time when we can go into a customer's computer and see what their stock levels are and replenish automatically. We must find a way of embracing that technology. We have been working on an ammonia project for approximately two years. If it is one thing that I've learned during this process is patience. Because the time frame that we are custom operating under is very different than when, when, when you're operating with uh, a foreign partner and you're looking to invest over 500 million US dollars. We are making progress. The whole world is looking at Trinidad and Tobago. The whole world views Trinidad and Tobago as an ideal place to make an investment of this type. If we are being looked upon in that manner, we believe that if it's in our own backyard, we must participate and we will participate. Mr. Sabga fielded questions posed by directors about the Ansa Macal journey to 2006. The chairman's off-the-cuff presentation and interaction with his directors made an impact on his audience who describes the experience as enjoyable, novel, and truly representative of their chairman's inspiring style of leadership. Then it was back to the fun of discovering which team came ahead in the rally. Good food and of course the company of the Carib Girls put a perfect close to the launch of the Ansa Macau vision. We'll grow, we're stronger, we're inspired to serve, let our vision be known. We're driven by excellence, we're defined innovation,